Hello brothers and sisters, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Uh, welcome again to uh, A to Z uh, Arabic lessons. Uh, this is uh, lesson 13, the feminine two. الدرس الثالث عشر الدرس الثالث عشر درس مين لسن الثالث third basically عشر yeah thirteen yes I'm sorry I haven't been with you from a while for a family reason I have some issues um uh, health issues in my family so i have to attend uh, and i can't uh, really uh, leave uh, leave so however let's start with it uh, it will be a quick lesson i will try my best to make it a quick but i didn't want to stop uh, totally yes uh, Okay, we'll uh, we'll start by a verse as usual uh, from the Bible. لأننا إن عشنا فللرب نعيش وإن متنا فللرب نموت فإن عشنا وإن متنا فللرب نحن لأننا لأننا إن عشنا فللرب نعيش وإن متنا فللرب نموت فإن عشنا أو متنا فللرب نحن uh, The translation is uh, in here and it's from Rome 14.8 For if we live, we live for our Lord and if we die, we die for our Lord whether we live uh, or we, whether we die or with that, we belong to our Lord. Rome 14, 8. Now, بسم الآب والابن والروح القدس إله واحد آمين. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's start. لنبدأ. Let's start. Okay. <laughs> In, uh, in our last lesson, we spoke uh, about uh, the feminine. Uh, we spoke about the feminine and how it formed from the masculine by suffix, by adding the T, the marbuta. Yes. And uh, for example, we said, Hiya mudarrisatun. She is a teacher. هي مدرسة. She is a teacher. Or هي طباخة. She is a cook. هي طباخة. She is a cook. The feminine and the linguistic occur in many words which have no masculine. For ex uh, for example, yeah. For example, let's say Medina or Junaina. Medina is a city. Junaina is a garden. Or there is other words of garden too. But this one it will form that with T. Yes? And it is occasionally, uh, although rarely, found in words uh, are masculine. Yeah? Example, Khalifatun. Uh, Khalifa Tun mean Khalifa basically Caliph Su successor a successor or a Caliph Khalifa Tun a Caliph and we can say Rahala Tun Rahala Tun it's a traveler or those people who uh, walk with their camels or a uh, backpacker or those people you know those people who go uh, camping, this is what we call Rahalatun. Uh, yeah, these two uh, letter uh, are intensive forms of the active participle. Other feminine ending are like 
الف مقصورة شورت الف and الف with همزة و and o o yeah o and when a singular suffix to the last radical of the word both of these are with nunation without sorry without a nunation so basically uh, anything with this form to those two they don't have on they don't have like rahalaton so it will it won't be on it will be u like desert it will be sahra u zikra yeah it won't be with nunation while it's uh, it will be fe uh, feminine yeah zikra uh, desert sahra u now let's go to the next lesson or this lesson basically in this lesson we will uh, continue to speak uh, about the feminine uh, are you ready guys <laughs> uh, the feminine ending uh, with t ta uh, marbuta as you remember the two is taking as a uh, yeah like to, let's to keep uh, let's keep remembering two we make we form it in the letter like that when we write it like that arabic in uh, in english forms yeah we make it like that it will be a and three will be a now ta marbuta is used uh, to form the singular form collective nouns example aynabun aynabun grapes while when you want to say a single a single one it will be aynabaton aynabaton a grape basically a single grape yeah aynabaton we rarely say that but uh, just uh, to make it uh, to make the feminine of it now in here it's this one is not rare uh, we can say at any time uh, not like عينبتون. تفاحتون تفاحون تفاحتون تفاحون is plural تفاحون apples while تفاحتون it will be an apple دجاجتون in here it's as a feminine دجاجون as a plural now to make the دجاجون feminine we add uh, a T at the end and that will make it singular and uh, feminine yes so it will be a hen yeah and here it will be دجاجون it will be any many many chicken you know many not uh, not a chicken like uh, uh, and you can it will be like many chickens like uh, running around or it will be uh, cooking chicken basically cut off like a uh, uh, poultry poultry now uh, uh, I'm trying to uh, to do it fast because uh, I have really a lot of uh, duties to attend very shortly <laughs> but I wanted to do it uh, finally because uh, it's uh, uh, I didn't want to be off for long yeah I will try to write all these uh, down in a word uh, form uh, yeah a file and attach it to the link yeah uh, lastly uh, note uh, that all plural which do not refer to national beginning yeah uh, are grammatically feminine singular like if you want like a country name or something like that so it will be uh, feminine yeah like uh, cities countries or something or rarely it will be masculine the fall fo the following are a few examples uh, illustrating the foregoing rules yeah anti tabakhatun mahiratun anti you for female as long as we put this small e and t if we put it on top it will be anta it will be for male but nt because we put kasra under it will be for female anti 
طبخة if you see this one it will make double B أنت طبخة ماهرة you see nonation on both of, both of them so أنت طب double B طبخة ماهرة yes uh, you is for female and uh, it means you are a clever cook السيدة سيدة that mean uh, the lady yeah الغنية تو السيدة الغنية تو حاضرة السيدة تو الغنية تو so basically الغنية تو in here it has to to have uh, uh, همزي همزي this همزي it, uh, like to, to make it silent the, the alif but as you as I told you previously as I mentioned previously on laptops or on computers they don't have this type of همزي so I left it out uh, but just to tell you السيدة you see I, I don't pronounce it the alif السيدة السيدة الغنية حاضرة السيدة الغنية حاضرة the rich lady is present in here we speak about uh, city London yeah uh, London 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 there is the O London مدينة عظيمة لندن and here you see with the, as A لندن <laughs> مدينة عظيمة لندن is, is a mighty city or a great city now I wrote for you some uh, because it's a short uh, lesson I wrote for you uh, some extra vocabs and you can read them and write them down keep them for yourself or take screenshots for them because you may use them let's say uh, a quiet uh, calm or gentle in here or a famous uh, let's read them together مشهور famous yeah مشهور famous هادئ calm or gentle gentle فستان address قبعة أهات تنورة a skirt uh, خياط a tailor لطيف pleasant it could be gentle gentle like a gentleman or لطيف as well yeah uh, pleasant حقيبة a bag جوارب socks but I didn't put the singular of it because I don't want to put a lot of it so جوارب anyway we wear both of them at the same time <laughs> only joking so جوارب جوارب socks حزاء shoes ملك a king ضعيف weak قميص a shirt حزام a belt معطف a coat now there is uh, something I didn't put uh, I may write it for you on the word uh, thing it's uh, a let's say trouser in Arabic uh, they write uh, سروال we rarely use this kind of سروال we rarely use that we, we, we say ma mainly in um, in French or something like uh, uh, they say pantalon <laughs> they say something like that they never use it unless if uh, if you are somewhere really they, they rarely use it so basically they use uh, pantalon rarely use it but it's a sirwal and I will write it down for you on the uh, for on that uh, word form yes uh, anyway uh, God bless you guys. Uh, thank you, uh, <laughs> sister, God, brother, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, God bless you and keep you safe. And here I wrote for you, Wulid al Masih, Christ was born or is born. Nu'minu wa na'tarifu al-majdu li ismi. 
believe and acknowledge glory to his name وَالطُوبَ لِأُمِّهِ and uh, blessed his mother yeah the, this is the ancient Syriac greeting Merry Christmas Milad Majid yeah it's uh, it is a Syriac uh, way of uh, we do it uh, still everywhere uh, or we say Merry Christmas or we say uh, Joyeux Noël in French or we say anything uh, anyway as long as we celebrate Christmas uh, God bless you and uh, keep you safe uh, please uh, keep uh, uh, serving the Lord serve the Lord and make the Lord, make his, his word reach all those people who needs yes and I will try to be with you very soon. God bless you and keep you safe. Bye-bye.